My name is Kuru Kai and I am studying a Bachelor of Arts Honours in Criminology. In 2009 I started a tertiary foundation certificate. That takes like a year. It's just pretty much um, year 13 subjects but at Torah University and then uh, the following year I could finally apply for Bachelor of Arts. I didn't get accepted until 2010 semester 2 though where they took me in as a attached student to the admission scheme. Initially I wanted to get into law and do criminal law but I wasn't really cut out for law and in my head I was like wondering about two and a half years to get to law and it's not for me. During that time I studied sociology I found I was like really good at it so I just went from there and then criminology was available and yeah it was all going from there. Me personally I come from South Auckland so there's a lot of uh, publicity about the crime rates out there. I have a few friends that are juveniles. I myself experiencing a bit of juvenile behaviour back then and then seeing it all in theory. And it's just quite interesting the transition from practice to theory. Like why does someone rob a car or what goes through their head when they do? And I've got some friends that do that kind of stuff like what goes through your head. And sometimes some of the factors are similar. Now some of these theories are quite relevant whereas others are just totally irrelevant. Yet it's stamped in the book and made official. <laughs> The academic journey in criminology is, yeah, it's broadening my horizons on the way crime should be handled, really. So I'm interested in doing masters, yeah, my master's degree, probably uh, working with youth crime. Since I, I didn't really think about masters till the semester started, and then I looked at my grades and I was like, okay, that's not going to get me in. I need to really work hard. I told one of my friends I want to get into masters. They're like, okay, you really need to step it up then. That and um, to all kind of heard about it. <laughs> So they're on my case helping me out. Actually this year I spoke to the head of the department, Alan France. He was really interested in the whole youth crime and that whole why does one could go this way and this one go that way. However, he's, um, he's taking time off next year to do research, so... But he's been referring me to other lecturers. As part-time work, I also work as a mentor at high schools. And one thing I notice with high school students there is the different types you get. Like you have one student who wants to go on, study, they got everything planned and you got the other student who's just worried about their weekend. And um, me personally, I was the student who was worrying about the weekend. Whereas now, obviously, I'll be the other student. And I was, and I was wondering why that, why, why that happens. So I thought it would be a pretty good master's topic to talk about. I've always had a passion for helping others, especially um, those that are going through what I went through before. Yeah, it's good to be there for those, for those kind of students that could use a bit of help. I have the typical island story of being the first one to make it to university. And um, I figured while I'm here, if I could be first grade, I might as well set the bar pretty high before I have another family member coming in. My perspective on like the whole world has changed after getting my degree. Like you just pay attention to more things. Nothing's ever the same for me. I just look at things a whole lot differently. I'm more aware. You know, even with um, stuff with media, politics, and pretty much every, every kind of subject that requires theories and arguments and critical thinking. I looked at employment opportunities after I graduated. There was not as much as I thought there would be, but Apparently with a postgraduate level of study, the employment should just go higher.